Hey guys, I just wanted to record this really quickly because I had a cool idea to share. Over the last year, I ran this group called the Feynman Mafia. The core idea of the group is that if I want to teach topology to somebody, then I ask for them to figure it out on their own. And when they feel that they understand it, they explain it to me. And my job becomes to poke holes in their explanation. But I was wondering, what if the Feynman technique could be automated? Well, that's exactly what I tried out. Check this out. So I was playing with GPT-3, and I engineered the prompt in a way uh, where I asked it to, uh, to give questions based on the answers that I provide. Yeah, so for the first question that it asked, it looked at my previous answers and figured out that we were talking about linear algebra, and so asked me a question about structure-preserving maps. And so I answer that question and the cycle of answering questions and getting more questions continued. Uh, and I kept on justifying my explanations until we ended up deep diving for around 30 minutes in linear algebra. I would say generally the questions I got were pretty relevant. Most of the time it was referring to something that I had said earlier in the conversation, but sometimes it made smart connections that I otherwise wouldn't have thought of. Uh, for example, at some point it mentioned metric spaces, even though I had never brought them up. But yeah, isn't that cool? I was playing around with it for quite a bit of time, and it totally works. What if we use this as a tool for learning, where anytime you wanted to understand some complicated math or physics concept, you first tried to figure it out on your own, and follow that up with a session where you explain the concept to GPT-3. Anyways, this seems really interesting to me, and I'm going to keep on exploring it. The next thing I'm going to do is create a web app that is focused on some niche part of math, for example, topology by James Moncrease, and optimize the question response dialogue that happens for that concept. Overall, I'm going to keep on exploring this and see if I can create a really valuable tool for thought. Anyways, that's it. Uh, thank you for listening. Bye.